Background action. <laughs> and there, there we go. <laughs> Three, action. Oh, just sorry. My bad. Three, two, one. I wasn't ready. I, oh, I my wasn't bad. ready. Oh, all right. All right. Three, two, one. Action. There's a delay. It's got to be the same. Well, it's three, two, two one, one, zero action. Oh, three, two. So yeah, you do right. technically this five countdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, right, all right. Three, two, one. Action. You said zero. You said the other way. I was doing what you told all me right, to. All right. So which way? We'll do it your way. All right. Three, two, one. Action. action. Welcome back to another episode of Life with Jalen. With Q God's intro. will. And <laughs> God's will. Q intro. <laughs> back guys with life with Jalen where we have real talk with real people about real life i'm your host Jalen mock this is my bro sif my bro homie my my brodo as in frodo and Brodo's. baggins baggins bilbo baggins yeah for all you nerds out there shout out um what else uh bro, 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 bro hampson bro hampson i don't get that. i mean all right cool well just this is my <laughs> this is my guy so uh yeah we're here to do the questions that you asked the holiday edition questions that you asked for us to answer we're gonna answer them and we're gonna just dive right in right with in. questions number one and this is actually something that a lot of people asked um at nathan schwartz at ashton grayley at chloe c ward um all asked what's your favorite christmas movie super easy for me what's that super easy home alone which one <clears throat> that actually is perfect. Be controversy. We have a second. We have a <laughs> second question. Tagged in. Brooke, Brooke Staten just called. Brooke Staten just right. Bro- She's in the spirit. <laughs> Brooke Staten just called in and says, "But which one? Home Alone one or two? Okay, one. Why? It's it is literally the funniest one ever. When that yeah. dude like steps on the uh, ornament and his big toe breaks it." <laughs> Bro, I don't know why it makes me laugh. His, so his reactions, yeah, solid. Like, yeah, yeah. Ah, I'm like, yeah. I think, I think for me too is one. actually Home Alone, and I, I really appreciate two, and like yeah. the adventure of it because he's out and on the unknown. But I definitely think I like one more because it's the classic, the OG, and barely, rarely ever does the sequel become better than the one. Exactly. Now, if it's like a giant like sequel, like one, two, three, four, five, six, or something like that, or one, two, three, like one, two, Star three, four, Wars. like Star Wars, yeah. like all the MCU stuff, then there's times, but very rarely ever is like very two rarely. legitimately better than one. Yeah, that bird poop lady kind of weird. Yeah, she was, she was kind of I wasn't a fan of yeah, It was kind of like clean up yourself. Like, exactly. You just change take off a shower. Take out your jacket. Well, I, think <laughs> she had, I think she was. I think she was. <clears throat> <laughs> Mm-mm. I literally <laughs> that doesn't look like you put your foot in your mouth. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Moving on real quick. Oh, from, from, from Lilium underscore Marie nineteen ninety four. Um, what age did you stop believing in Santa? He's not real. Yeah, I guess you haven't seen Polar Express. <laughs> No, just kidding. Um, uh, <clears throat> William. I was 22. I was about 19. <laughs> <laughs> it was the same time. <laughs> Next question. Uh, at Diamond R. Mac, what's your favorite thing about the holidays? Family and the food. Yeah, I bet you I thought I was going to say gifts. <laughs> yeah. No. All the presents. The family and food. Presents for me. I know what your motives are. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, if there's no presents, I'm not coming. No, I'm just kidding. Definitely the family and the friends. Um, I love the all of all the holidays, yeah. uh, like the, the holiday parties, like uh, your friends are having you over, and then the other friends are having you over the next week, and you're going to visit so and so later. Like it's it's great. Um, definitely the family and the friends, and just the cheer. And I feel like everyone's always nicer. And I'm like, oh, we could yeah. be that way all year round. Like, like we have no problem. Literally, it'd be a great. It'd be a great world because people are genuinely they just do acts of kindness. And I'm like, you know, you can be that way all, all year round, right? Yeah. Like, uh, there's this video. Uh, this lady, I couldn't, I couldn't watch the whole thing. She was making me mad. She, you know, those people that like laugh while they're telling the story. Yes. I do it occasionally, oh like goodness. sometimes when it's really funny. Just talk. But when they do the whole thing, it's just. I was like, I gotta tell you this. <laughs> I walk away. I'm like, I'm not, I don't care about it. Anymore. Somebody <laughs> just let me kiss the very sense of I'm like, what? Speak oh, that was English. So accurate. Yeah. 
also, no, that was, it was this lady. She kept laughing while trying to tell the story. I was like, all right, I'm getting mad. Because it was like a 30 minute long video. And it was like, literally the punchline was just two seconds. But she was doing acts of kindness. And she paired with this lady behind her at the gas station. And then she went to her car and this man was cleaning his windshield. And she was like, I just love this holiday spirit. And she just went up and hung side. Thank you for spreading Christmas cheer. And he just looks at her and she realizes he parked in front of her and he was washing his car windows. Mm. She thought he was washing hers. So it was just really awkward exchange. But it was just funny. She was talking about like spreading their Christmas cheer. But yeah, like people do that kind of stuff a lot around this time. I, time. I like that. But it's like, we could do that year round, to be honest. That would be nice. So, all right. Um, uh, Ace underscore K22 said, uh, favorite holiday food? Ham. Oh ham. my goodness. It's a solid one. Ham is so good. It if is you good. guys want to get it's me very- something, Ham. ham, get me buy ham. Him some ham. Oh get the man my some ham. I love get ham. Get the man some ham. Get the man some ham. Never spam, just ham. My socks say I love spam, but it's I like But he ham. doesn't. He likes he likes ham because it don't taste like spam. Cause you know that he's the man when he gets it in this hand, he likes ham. God's plan. I've never used that and I just really wanted to, and I thought that I was a good time to do well. it. Yeah, I think it was it was solid. Good time. All right. Uh my favorite holiday food is actually a dessert. It's German yeast cookies. Um, most people don't know what they are. Most people have never heard of them. Never heard of it them. It is a recipe that has been in my family for a very long time. Um, and it's something that the ladies always make every Christmas. It's this huge ordeal, very lot of like rolling and pressing dough and, and all this other and, and kneading and you know, whatever all the fancy terms are. Um, and they just, it's this long process. And every Christmas holiday, we're all together and they're making it. it. Takes forever, but they're so good. They look like little croissants. Yeah. But they have like this some sort of like cinnamon spice almost but yet uh like just some sort of sweet like filling like that goes around some? it and then they sprinkle uh, bra- uh brown uh powdered sugar over it. it's really good it's wow. really good guess um, i know what i'll be trying and it's always fun because they like break out into like a fight with like flour and brown or are you seeing brown sugar or powdered sugar and and powdered sugar like, everywhere. Going everywhere? Yeah, like the great. movies it's like lebron you know, <laughs> 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 all right um, all right we have um underscore and so I don't know if this it's was Anne-Marie. to be Anne-Marie. It's Anne-Marie. Anne-Marie. Yeah, Okay, there's Anne-Marie. only one E, so I was going to say Anne Mayor, but <laughs> Anne-Marie. Anne-Marie. So underscore Anne Marie underscore. Favorite holiday drink from Starbucks. Wow. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Uh, I like their the, the peppermint mocha that comes out around solid. this time. But I don't know if I'd say it was my favorite. I, I don't think it counts as like holidays and Christmas, but I definitely like, they have a cold brew, pumpkin spice cold brew. Really, I don't like those pumpkin spice latte. PSL. It's too sweet for me. But, yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> too, but too sweet for me. But they have a cold brew that's got a pumpkin flavoring to it. and it's, yeah, I like that. That's pretty good. I think that's my favorite recently. I also kind of tend to change. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, that peppermint mocha is good. The Lord actually just dropped this revelation of the power of a white toasted mocha frappuccino on me. The best thing I've ever had in my life. So, if you haven't tried it, go Are you saying, it. like, you just had it, and it was like he dropped the power? I yeah. thought you were saying, like, the Lord just now spoke to you and gave I was like, all right, well, no. Bible study time. <laughs> Here we go. Let me tell you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. I was reading this book of Revelations, and it talks about. <laughs> no, so yeah, I I had it for like the first time, and it's it's amazing. So go get that. It's now my favorite. So yeah, I actually I did have that. It's got the little sugar crystals in it, right? Yeah, no. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's like yeah, yeah, on yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I've had it. It's pretty good. Uh, we have another one from at d underscore. Is that Mitchell or Michelle? Michelle. Michelle. Yeah. She's fourteen. What's on your Christmas list? Ooh, um, hmm. um, what is on my Christmas list? Um, what is on my Christmas list? You're on my Christmas I, I list. Some... That's so sweet. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's a great one. Like, save that for when you find the right one. I've been practicing. You know, <laughs> like, I'm preparing. <laughs> I'm ready, bro. The moment I meet her, I got her locked down. Um. No, on my Christmas list, I have a couple different uh, clothing options. I feel like clothes are always on my Christmas list. Um, some stuff for my apartment, um, like some furniture stuff I didn't have. Um, Man, you're getting old. You're asking for furniture stuff. I'm aware. <laughs> Literally, I asked for an end table and like a bench. And I'm like, who asks for that stuff for their for their Christmas list? Like, this is, is the is lamest hilarious. thing I've ever seen. That's Shelving funny. units and shelving like, units. What? What is this? A uh, subscription to like this and that service? Or like, <laughs> can you pay for my storage unit bill for Brump? Like, that's yeah. hilarious. No, um, I think yeah, I asked for some more stuff. Oh, oh, um, so I actually recently really got into vinyls. 
Okay. And so I did ask for a record player because um, I never had one. Always thought they were cool, but never cared enough to collect it myself. Yeah. But I actually did ask for a, a record player because I'm I kind of I was like you know what I want a new hobby and just something to collect. Yeah. Um. So I that that's something I put on there. I put up some other randoms, but I can't even remember right now. What about you? Um. I have like one thing. Honestly, I have uh or two things. I have the uh, a whole bunch of moleskin notebooks. It's not really about the notebook. All right, guys. Is that what Victor hey. Jackson uses? Maybe. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, guys, it's about the paper. When you write on that paper, you never want to stop. Every pen comes out like the best ink ever. Everything is like, what are those things called? The G, whatever is the G something like 07 or 10. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. G2. Oh, yeah, G2. the G2. They all write like that on that. So I put some moleskin notebooks on there. So a large, extra large, extra, so is it extra like large. So moleskin paper? Like it's 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 the skin of moles? Well, I can't answer that question. Um, there's some different policies and, you know, I like signed Legal terms. Yeah, exactly. I can't really talk about it. But all also I have an Apple Watch on there because some people have said. I did put that. I put that on my, yeah. Well, yeah. I don't one, have is, one. Well, this is, oh. I don't own one. People said that Same. I'm not truly apostolic. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. right. You're so needy. Yeah, I don't a, know. This one. is the first series one, so it's or series two. So yeah. it's like it not functioning, especially because like for athletic stuff, running and stuff, it's right. like it's constantly like wigging out. Yeah. So I, I, like, I don't have one, and people said I'm not a true apostolic until I have one. So peer apostolic. pressure. Apostolic. Yeah, exactly. Peer pressure got to me. So well played. All right. What are you doing? Uh, this is at sorry. Uh, what? Where, the, <laughs> yeah, but hey, 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 Rewind. Holy Ghost. Let it go. <laughs> yes, God. Um, <laughs> at AEP Guitar. What are you doing New Year's Eve? I'll be at church. Come on now. Watch night. Watch. Yeah. It's not a watch night technically. Uh, well, um, it's gonna end. So typically that would be my answer. Uh, but I'm actually out of town for New Year's. Wow. Uh, I think it's my first time being out of town. Actually, I'll be in Texas with some extended family. Friends, um, church family that um, I've just been close with since I was a baby. Good um, to know where yep, they invited are at. me to. They invited me to 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 go with them on vacation. So with them, in my defense, and pastor, if you're watching this, I apologize if I missed the announcement. I did not know when I scheduled to go out of town yeah. that they were doing a New Year's service. That's fair. I, I feel like that got that hap- that got planned after. I mean, they just I made the plan. Yeah, yeah. So I could be wrong. If y'all are watching this, someone please feel free to text me that yeah. I am wrong. Fact but, check this. Exactly, fact check. Um, but I feel like I had scheduled that before the service. Yeah, it's just like that sometimes. All right. At Jasmine underscore Gomez 804, what's your favorite Christmas memory? Hmm. Okay. I have a funny one that I, I actually sent in and I didn't get featured. It's because you're here <laughs> I, and I'm, now you but, can tell the story. I'm tell not upset. Story. Tell but, the story. Okay, my favorite, it's really not really my favorite, but it's my favorite. Because, so, my grandfather has always got me and my sister, like, equal presents. Like, they're normally, like, the same amount or they're the same present. This is, like, way back when the first iPod Touch came out. We both put on our list, and we're spoiled. I'm, I'm not even going to hide it. Anything we put on the list, he gets most of the time. So, we go there, and he gives her this this iPod, you know, she opens it up and she's like, oh my goodness, I get the iPod. And I'm sitting there like, oh yeah, <laughs> here comes my iPod, let's go. This man hands me the little giant cupcake molds. That he, he didn't even have the decency to wrap them. They just handed them to me. And if you guys don't know, like back at that time, there was this big thing about these giant cupcakes. Like you put it in there and you make them and it's really great. And he's like, man, we really figured that because you like sweets so much, we'll get this for you. And I really had, you know that video? Ah, oh, an avocado. <laughs> an My avocado. Favorite, I did that. I said, oh, cupcakes. I love them. Thank you. <laughs> and literally, like, I'm looking at them. Nicole's, like, joking around. He let this prank go on for a while. And then he was like, all right, we have something to tell you. And then he handed me the iPod. And I, I grabbed it, and I was so happy. And when I got in the car, I'm pretty sure I cried because I was so upset, <laughs> but so happy. And yeah, Savage. so yeah, it was, it was a rough one. That is a it's solid. Tough. That is a solid Christmas. Uh, what was it? Christmas memory. Yeah, yeah. Christmas memory. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. <sighs> this is hard. Take five. I got it. Um, so it was a Christmas. Uh, it was it was a while ago. I was still in high school, I believe. And we typically go, uh, when it comes for my family with Christmas, we typically either have it in Maryland or North Carolina because that's where my grandparents are. 
Yeah. Um, so we kind of go back and forth. And this year we were my grandparents. And um, it was really cool because we did, it was where we did the Christmas where we did all of the stuff. Like yeah. we did the, the go to see the Christmas lights and uh, do the, the Christmas baking and the Christmas movie marathon. We had a bunch of intentional things that we did. It wasn't just, oh, we're going to hang out. Right. Um, and then we went to see um, one of those like uh, f- kind of like you ever been to like uh, medieval times? Yeah. yeah. Kind of like that. Um, but it wasn't like a war. It was like a Christmas story. But it was that type okay. of they feed you this feast and you're oh, sitting okay. in this arena. It was like a big, big yeah. play. Yeah. yeah, and that was that was definitely because I just I remember like everyone just having an amazing time. Everyone's laughing and enjoying, it. and they literally put a whole chicken in front of me. So like this is great. That's so, solid. <laughs> so was, I remember that, and that was like I said, that was the year where we just did a bunch of like good, like just the good like Christmas light stuff and just the intentional like memory making stuff. And so that was that's definitely I think probably my favorite. It was a good time. That's a good one. That's a really good one. We have um. At Cameron Staten, what's your favorite reindeer? Comet. I'm just going to be basic and say Rudolph. Rain, Rudolph. Yeah. But see, that's why. Okay? He's a misfit. Everybody, all right? Okay, he's not a misfit. He's literally the MVP. All right, he becomes like, okay, the MVP. Okay, name all, name all the Rudolphs. Name all the Rudolphs. Name all the reindeer. Something and something. Yeah, exactly. Blitzen Unless you know the something. song, you can't. It's like, it's like the... Do you recall? Yeah. See, like he's like the Joshua and Caleb. Okay. Like everyone knows his name. Okay, fair. But it's like, fair. but no one knows. Now, granted, the other guys were in that's bad example, kind of, because the other guys weren't good. But the thing about someone else in the Bible where, like, they did good, I'm sure, but they don't really you don't know about them. All the other reindeer are, like, like the, 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 they are the, 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 they're the, they're they're the, the they were the consistent ones, man. They're the, what's the, 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 yeah. the, the what's their name? The, um, the, 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 the one with the, the one that rhymes with Ramit. <laughs> I yeah. mean, but no, like Ray, Rudolph is like the goat. Like everyone knows, like LeBron James. But like everyone. He wasn't the goat, though. Okay. And that's why he's my favorite because he just, of his He had a thing, and it, and it just happened to be everything that was needed. It was all about but his But what come did up. he do? What did he do all the other years when Christmas snow wasn't falling and it wasn't a storm outside? Okay, we're not talking about that. <laughs> we're talking about his come up, all right? He went from being the one that everybody picked on to being the one that everybody right. loved. I'll give you know, you I think I relate to that. Yeah, I feel a little bit. I was of, the uh, one that was always picked about, on. There's a book. It's called Wild at Heart. It has some wounds. Talk about wounds. <laughs> I've read it. <laughs> it's a great book recommend I'm it still we, can talk, with we can it. talk about it uh yeah all right I so no rudolph feelings. is cool i just i like comic because his name's cool that's literally my my reason by the way i can name all of them now that I'm i said that i just you. i just <laughs> yeah. dasher dancer prancer blitzen blitz oh shoot uh yeah. dasher dancer branzer brands branson oh Brands-er. my i can't dasher dancer bronzer vixen comic cupid donner blitzen i feel like one of them i got wrong but that's still seven out of eight that's not it's bad. close enough close enough all right next one i can name uh, it off question for us um at west dog zero one what happens if evil if what happens if some evil child actually succeeds in capturing santa claus i think it would be a great holiday honestly because first of all it would prove all the haters that santa's real like i've been trying to say first right. of all of course second of all I don't have anything else. But, I mean, it would prove that Santa's real. So, yeah, yeah. that's all that matters exactly. here. Exactly. Solid. All right. Questions for us at Becca and White. Can you do a YouTube tutorial on how to make a delicious fruitcake? I'm feeling an episode I'm three. I'm feeling an episode <laughs> three. I definitely think we could do that. I um, agree. I don't think it'll happen before the holiday season's over. And oh, I guess, you. is fruitcake only for the holidays? No, no. Can you do fruit. it in here? We'll do it in 2020, and I think it'll be great. And the fruitcake's going to turn out to be amazing. Hopefully, it's, like, super hard, you know. Never made that's one. it's supposed to be, right? But it's going to be amazing. I made a dump cake, though. That's really easy. You know why? Because you, you literally just everything. dump everything in there and then bake it. Yeah. That's really why it's called a dump cake? Literally. I always thought it was because, When like, I made it, it, I just dumped it. I thought it was like because you eat it like right after you get dumped. So I thought you said I thought it was like that because when you eat it, <laughs> no. it sounds like oh, really yum. <laughs> no, no, I thought it was. Oh, like, like you make it's like a like a break your heart. Yeah, kinda, you get oh. like you give it to. I the could person. do that next time if I hopefully I don't have to break up with someone. Yeah, if I, I hope did, not. I could be like, look, I'm sorry. I know this is gonna be hard, but I made you this dump cake. They're like, oh, thank you so much. I'm like, because you just got dumped. <laughs> I, That's not gonna go well. Put that in my back pocket. <laughs> All right, uh, at Philemon underscore follow us. If you could celebrate Christmas in a different state, where would it be and why? You could answer that. I'm not. I'm gonna leave this one to William. You got it, buddy. I'm not answering that one. Well, <clears throat> I think I personally would love to celebrate Christmas in <laughs> Maryland. Ohio, yeah, you have family in Ohio. Oh yeah, 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 Ohio. 
All right. Ohio's pretty, yeah, yep. I'll go to Ohio. Cool. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. We have a, a guest. Unexpected Star. guest. Apparently. Who invited you to my home? Oh, snap. <laughs> I did. This is awkward. <laughs> I thought awkward. I'd be done by now. No, come on, everyone. Meet my friend Josh Lewis behind you, the couch. Are you gonna? Are you gonna walk, walk on in? Or? Yeah, walk on in. Huh? I just called you as your friend. Yes. Yeah. This is you got to duck down, yeah. get in the shot. There you go. This is Josh Lewis. There you go. He's saying hi. Uh, yes. All right. So, um, what's on your? We, wait, we did this one right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. 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 Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah we did. Yeah, we did Why that. that That's one? a Christmas list. Yeah. Uh, all right. Real quick. Last couple of questions. Uh, Andrew UG94, what's better, a small family Christmas or a big family Christmas? Big. 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 Bigger is big. always better. I think it's cool. Like, I, I get the moment like with the small family and the intimate moments and the what have you, but at the same time, you could do that all year round. Exactly. Like, I love I love the big family vibe when everyone's together and you're throwing like hot cross buns and stuff across the table because there's so many people. Yeah. Going. That's pretty cool. Wait, you do that? No, so we used to, back before I was born, when my family was that big, they literally would chuck milk jugs across wow. because there were so many people around and they That's couldn't move. Impressive. They were literally like, hey, pass the milk. And it was like, yeah, it was like pretty cool. Pass so, the milk. All right. Uh, at Olivia Hayworth, is Charlie Brown Christmas a sad movie? I'll let you answer that because I don't really have an answer for that one. Yes and no. I mean, it's got its ups and downs, but I think the part where Char Char Charlie, <laughs> Charlie Brown is talking about his depression is kind of real. Yeah. So I could see why it would be a sad movie. Plus, he's always like, yeah, I just, I don't get the money. And like his emotion, there's no emotion That's in space. True. So it's just kind of like, yeah. I've always had weird vibes from Charlie Brown stuff, though. I mean, it's, I mean, it's all cool, but yeah. I'm, and the fact that, is it not, <laughs> is it not weird that none of the parents like say anything he's like, bah, 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 bah. that's sad right. where are your parents that's really sad where are your parents i think it's at? more sad that's that's why that. he was depressed his parents weren't in his life exactly his parents were in his life they were neglectful and wow all the kids had to fake it fake they're, it they're, but oh okay uh-huh yeah while the parents are talking just you like not what's her name lucy that. would fake the football yeah <laughs> wow <laughs> crazy you know actually uh my sister did that to me after that uh, came out it didn't it. it didn't go the same way i actually ended up kicking her by accident because my accuracy is horrible but she's fine it's okay love you nicole um and the final question you guys ready are you guys suspense all right here we go this is uh at nathan underscore scott 24 and i'm definitely gonna let Jalen answer this first what are you looking forward to the most on christmas when you get married on christmas on Christmas morning, hmm. or any time during Christmas, I guess. I guess for me, it would probably be just like just just being with her, like, <sighs> like yeah, I don't know, like because I think just like waking up Christmas, like you've always got the holiday cheer and the Christmas spirit, and you're always feeling good. Mm -hmm. But I think for me, it's like just when she's there. Like, it's just going to kind of, like, you know, complete you, you know? Like, they say it's your roommate or it's your other half or it's the other party or whatever. And, like, I've always gone to family events and friend events, and I'm always just, like. Wow. You know, no one's there. So, I think that's going to be it for me. It's just just her being there is, like, just going to. It, it's going to complete me. This yeah. is the one? <laughs> yeah. We, I'm going to do it two times. That Dork. deserved two. That deserved two. <laughs> Wow, I actually think I almost cried. <laughs> wow, I'm not you, that sad. You're like, yeah, I was just saying, like, it's wow. I'm, you're missing the part of you. So I think that's just just having that whole holiday experience, but with her having you with help me, me with like, you. yeah, yeah, like, this is in a whole other level of amazing. So I think just bringing her to the family and just me going to her family, like, yeah, that's that's definitely what I'm I'm excited for. That for sure. is like one of the most solid answers I've heard this whole entire day. So what's I yours? think. <sighs> Well, <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he was so serious. So I'm going to have to bring it back to reality for us. I think that I am looking forward to waking up, looking to my left or right, whichever side that she decides to sleep on, and just being able to see that monstrosity of craziness. <laughs> yeah. the monstrosity I was like, you're not going to see some beautiful angel, hair, bro. The you monstrosity see. of just all yeah, of that, it. That, that funky dragon's yeah, breath. And, and I just get to say, like, Merry Christmas. And she responds like, Merry Christmas. And I have to go to the bathroom and almost throw up because of how bad her breath is. I feel like they always say you don't know love until you experience these things. <laughs> and so I really feel like I will love her on a different level after I deal with that monstrosity and still look at her and say, 
I love you. Now go open your present. Even though we probably won't have much because we'll, we'll be broke probably. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> it'll probably just be a box with nothing in it. But, oh, you know. man. Well, there you have it. That was a great answer. And those are all the questions that you guys asked. Wait, hold up. I'm really upset. Thank you. Mine was really cute, too. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it was, Thank you very it was much. adorable. It was, it was a great story. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Y'all think that was funny? <laughs> oh, man. All right, but yeah, that is all the questions you guys asked for us. So thank you for asking the questions. We really appreciate it. They were great questions. Some of them were light. Some of them were heavy. Some of them were really, you know, it yeah. was great. Tear jerkers. So, but yeah, thank you all for uh, watching, for listening, however you're tuning in. Uh, love and appreciate you all. Thank you, William, for joining me. No, thank on you this for having episode. me. Please. It was a fun time. We definitely got to do it again. I'll get you talking 100%. about uh, P sevens. Oh, you want me to talk about it right nope, now? No, because nope, we got a we got a rollout. Josh, Are you, you sure? Wanna, Josh, you want to say bye? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want you want to get in get in on this? You got to talk into the mic, yeah. Bye. <laughs>